Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that it's power in putting your pride to the side and moving on. I bring this up because recently I had a dream. It's about three nights ago, and I didn't know what the message was for me, but I've been I've been sitting on it. And in this dream, I ran into uh, this girl from high school. We don't associate or nothing like that. I ran into her from high school, and we were talking. We walked into the store together, and then we split apart. It was a store slash uh, bowling alley or something like that. Whatever the case, I walked to the back of the store, and I have a seat while I wait for her to come back and join so we can continue our conversation. And apparently, I had sat where a group of uh, gentlemen were sitting at. So as the group came back to their seat, one person didn't have their seat because I was sitting there. So I explained to them, hey, I'm simply waiting for somebody. I didn't mean to take a seat. And they got hostile, the whole group. But three of these people stood out because they were relatives. So me knowing the context of my waking world and how my relationships are with my relatives, I said, you know what? I'm not going to go into bad habits. I'm not going to go into old habits. I'm going to gracefully remove myself from the situation. So I walk away, I walk down the aisle, and one of my family members block off the aisle, both ends. So they put uh, some kind of food or something on one of the aisles, like on the shelves, and then they put two daggers there. Not knives, but daggers, many swords. And for myself, words are symbolic. Words are swords. Swords are symbolic. So he's letting me know, hey, in order to get out of this, we have to go to war with these daggers. Usually, in the past, I would engage because I'm, I'm prideful. I'm going to go for it. But in this moment, I was like, for what? Nah, whatever it is that you want to conquer, you have it. You won. You got it. Have a good one, man. And I walked towards the blocked off aisle, towards the blocked off end. Amazingly, the closer I got, the more the barrier removed itself. And in that moment, in the dream state, I realized I got so used to engaging in battle that it didn't dawn on me in the past. It does now. It didn't dawn on me to simply lay my sword down. Or better yet, never pick it up. Moved about, met back with my friend, and I woke up. I'm sharing this with you because I understand what it's like to operate in that prideful state. I I really do. And I still have my moments where I have to chill myself out and be like, for what? You don't lose a game that you don't play. <laughs> it's simple. Not always easy. So once again, this is a reminder to not get too caught up in pride. Sometimes it's okay to not only walk away or disengage, but give yourself grace in the process. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.